wants to determine your financial future, I'm sorry, you've lost everything. Uh, people in the Richmond electorate face higher food prices, petrol prices and house prices than many people in Sydney. But our average income is much lower. With the latest interest rate rises, many people are paying more than 16% of their total household income on interest payments. That means they're working about one day a week just for the bank. Our whole economy has been fuelled by debt. We're digging up our resources as fast as we can. We're selling off our national assets just to make the economy look good. Both the Labor and the Liberal Party say they're good economic managers, but that's not smart economic management. That's cooking the books. If you want a government with a long-term view of the economy, on November 24th, vote one the Greens. Maggie, you're a financial advisor here in uh, Tweed Heads, and you're very worried about the debt levels that some of your clients are uh, carrying. Uh, my main concern is really the personal debt, mortgage debt. There's a lot of regulations in place to make sure people can afford to pay, but in relation to a lot of credit card debt and um, pay now, buy later type, um, buy now, pay later, sorry, type situations, there's no regulation. Just you can walk in, sign a form and walk out with $5,000 worth of furniture or appliances. So um, the people that you're talking to uh, obviously have reasonable incomes, they own houses and things like that. Um, are you finding that they uh, overextend themselves through uh, buying at uh, shopping centres like this? I do. It's an ongoing problem. And, and look, we also get people that come and are unable to now take up a mortgage because they have all this other debt. And, you know, in some way it would be good to educate people to just think a little bit longer before they start this, you know, like uh, oh, it's almost like a binge buying situation we have now. So Professor Steve Keane estimates that uh, household debt is running at about 160% of household income. That means if people stopped um, buying now and paid off everything they owed, they'd have to work for a year and a half to pay it all off. What sort of buffer do people have in their um, finances to cope with a change, like a loss of job or a reduction in income or a rise in interest rates? The, most mortgage companies put anything between three quarters to two percent buffer, so as interest rates rise they still can afford to pay their mortgage. But when they leave and they take on other debt, then there is no buffer. There, the buffer is actually gone. So at least with property or an appreciating asset, you are in a position to be able to sell that at least to clear your debt. So people on low incomes are actually worse off because they don't have those um, appreciative assets? Some of them would be able to look at that if they actually reduce their personal debt. They run at about 38.5% um, of their debt is personal debt, which is non-appreciating assets. And, and they just can't be resold and debt cleared if, if something happens and something goes wrong. So um, I'd like to see regulations put in place to make sure that people can afford these this, these credit cards, can afford these interest-free loans that they're getting, um, just the same as we have to as mortgage advisors. So if, the, if there is a financial uh, crunch in the next couple of years, it will be the less well off than hurt, no? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, the, the people in middle to high income, they have a lot of their debt is appreciating assets and property, and so they have very low personal debt. I think their personal debt's around about um, 7% compared to 38.5% for low income earners. And so what are your recommendations for um, recommend, uh, rectifying this situation? Education would be one. Let people know where we're going to, where we're headed in a couple of years if we keep going. Try to get people to realise that they may need to say no just a little bit more often and regulate some of these. It's not to say take them off the market, but just regulate them, make more, um, put more things in place where they have to make sure the person has the income to sustain what they're actually doing. Okay, thanks very much for your time today. You're welcome.